Okay. Hey. Hi. I'm Crystal. Uh, Creations by Crystal. And welcome to all my new subscribers. Hi. Um, I hope I, you know, make you proud. <laughs> and I hope you watch and comment and thumbs up and all that good stuff. Um, today we're going to do something simple again. Making a line. And so go ahead and if you're doing it with me, you want to get out your colors that are pre-mixed in your bottles, whatever kind of bottle you have, and it's pre mixed with alcohol. Uh, a little bit of pure line, uh, sapphire blue, just about up to that line, and the rest of it is 99% alcohol. That way I can just use it and squirt it on the page, okay? And I still will be with this hand as well, putting the alcohol, because we're going to be blowing it out with my uh, air compressor gun, which is can be. I'm going to like blow some that away, and that away, and that away, and try to make almost a bloom that you'd make in fluid art. I'm going to see how it how it goes. So I got to pick my colors, and. Um, I want to do something a little different, but I don't know what it is. So, I tend to always go with blue and violet and all of that and pink and green. i um, trying to think. I'd like to introduce a little gold. I think what I'm going to do is start out with some sapphire blue. And these, uh, by the way, my it's uh, by Magic Fly is the type of alcohol that I use. Not alcohol, of ink that I use. Oh, tongue tied today, aren't I? I do that all the time. I'm so sorry. Okay, so anyway, I'm going to just go ahead and I'm going to do something fun and different. Just a little different. And I think what I'm going to do is use the air. And just kind of start doing this. Moving around. Blowing the inks one way. On the other. Look what, see, and I recommend a lazy Susan. I really do. I didn't know what I was missing because I just recently got this and I love it. Okay. As you can, as you see, spin it around. Like that. Go. And then I'm going to come and where there was a uh, hard line. There we go. Isn't that pretty? I have to say, I really think doing it this way really is pretty pretty bloom with alcohol ink So, there we 
the next thing I was thinking was what if I dumped some gold? I have not used the gold. So I'm going to do this. There we go. <coughs> I'm going to start blowing on this end because it was alcohol spread all the way to the uh, tape. Oh, I was like, where's my alcohol? I'm not seeing a big, you know, something or other in the gold. I don't even see it, so I'm not sure if it's one of the better colors to choose doing this or not. Interesting, isn't it? Didn't do anything. Kind of made a little bit of a brown line, but that's about it. Huh, that makes a line. It's interesting. The gold has kind of made lines. So pretty, but different. Interesting. I think I'm going to go back and put some blue in. I'm not so crazy about the uh, gold, but it's there, so we'll see what happens. So let's do this again. to work with both hands when you're doing this because one hand to put down the alcohol if you need it quickly is ticking and this does take time so what I might have to do is put you on hold or pause I mean and uh, let myself keep doing this and working it 
and I'll bring it in as it begins to develop more because it will develop a lot more than this it'll be lots of movement and color okay so I just get a pause you and I'll do a little bit on the side here I threw in some yellow right down the middle of the blue and as alcohol inks do they the first, the last alcohol ink placed on the canvas becomes boss it will overtake and move whatever it's in its way because it's a star now <laughs> uh anyway it's it's kind of a cute way of thinking about it um but i'm going to come in with some blue i think over the top possibly um i'm liking the color combination it's pretty so what i'm going to do is just like i said i'm going to come in with um yeah, a little bit more of the blue. And this time I'm going to go not in the middle, but above. See, I'm just doing back and forth directions. I'm going to try to blend all that. Try not to have, oops, try not to have any rough edges. I splatter it everywhere, right? Okay. here in a minute and kind of evaluate what I've made and see what we need to do next because now we have green which is beautiful and I love the formation of this line isn't that beautiful feathery I just love it love love all right I'm gonna do my pondering before I say it's done just a minute another peek in We've come a little way, squirting it back and forth. Then I drop just a drop of the yellow okra in the middle there, making all them cute little circles. So um, I'm going to do a little more pondering and decide where to go or if we're through. Be right back. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, I drew out a butterfly. And I wonder, I put it on vellum paper. And by the way, vellum paper works with alcohol inks as well. Um, but anyway, I want to go and I'm going to place the butterfly over top of this. And then our butterfly is going to be painted, of course, already because of the background. Make sure I got the right side down. And then place it where, you know, I do the old school mess method because I want to move it around. Yes, I could sit here and draw it, but then I'd have to erase and, yeah, it's much easier to do your erasing and stuff like that on a vellum paper or some kind of paper that you can then move and decide where you want your, your uh, butterfly or whatever it is where you want it. Once you get it where you want it, with the drawn side down, old school me method, and then you just come and rub 
just like that, the lines of the butterfly. And this can be a little annoying to hear the scratching, so I'll scratch for you for just a little bit here. But you get the idea, and to save time, I try to make my videos shorter, because I tend to be one hour, it seems like, sometimes. <laughs> And nobody wants to sit and watch for, for an hour. These days they want shorties, you know. I guess. Oh, and I moved it. Uh-oh. Oh, well. Crystal. Oh, there. I moved my paper. I've got a paper. I'll save you from this and be back. Okay, now what we're doing is the butterfly that, oops, excuse me, you saw and that I had drawn out and I penciled it backwards onto the paper. Okay, I, that was just a second for you. It's been a little bit of time for me. Anyway, I got the image in here, penciled in the places it didn't come in, so that's what took a little longer. Um, then I'm going to take one of these little tiny, tiny, tiny little micro brushes. You can get them online, too. Um, this is a, one that was given to me, and it's for eyelashes, to put eyelashes on. I don't know what is a good view. Anyway. That is what I'm using, just something very, very small, dipping it in a jar of alcohol, and then following my lines of the pencil with the alcohol. And try to be as precise as I can. I don't want a big bubble or anything like that. really doing yeah okay it's opening it up a little bit good all right I'm just gonna continue doing that trying not to get a big drop which is I did had did do right there I think too big of a alcohol spread there bad girl but it's fixable maybe <laughs> Hopefully. Okay, I'm going to finish doing this part, and I'll be right back. 
All right, here we go. I think you can see the butterfly outline. And all I did was dip it in alcohol and with a little brush followed the pencil line all the way around. And it's, it's there. And I want the pattern that was in the background to be on the butterfly and the butter and the background to remain the same. So now though, I've made myself kind of a, a white opening all the way around some has dark which i'm going to take advantage of and just pull it down till it gets to where the head is yeah that's a happy thing that happened there with the color that was really good so, going to try to do the same thing over here. Okay, there we go. Isn't that pretty? You can really see the depth coming through. Okay, I just dipped it in alcohol again. So I'm looking for another place that would be good to pull some color from to make it all the way around just kind of like that kind of brought some paint from the other parts of the painting they're super bright anyway. I'm going to use it to gently line it. Isn't that neat? So just dip yourself in some alcohol. And uh, this is, uh, you know, sort of timid, uh, tedious, but it's also very rewarding. Because this is going to be so pretty. With all the colors and everything mixing. But we have the butterfly that has the... Uh, Little, I don't know what these are. Little back legs? Are these little black legs? I'm not sure. But that's all I've been doing is just pulling in some color. To outline the butterfly. Without disturbing the background as much as I did. Because I did do a little bit here. I'm going to come in with a darker color for his body anyway, so. The reason I didn't tape this from beginning to end is because it takes time, at least a good hour. And I've noticed that the hour videos just really aren't being watched. People are busy, you know, got things going on. If you're an artist and uh, or want to be artist, let me know. I do give uh, classes and I don't charge very much at all. If you're interested, you can email me or uh, messenger me, whatever way you want to do it. All right, that's coming along really pretty. Liking it. Really liking it. A little bit more alcohol. So maybe through this part, as you see what I'm doing, um, I'll save time again and 
come back at the next stage. So, if you're doing it with me, which that would be awesome, then just uh, give yourself a little bit of a break. Make sure that your butterfly is lined right. Because you can, with alcohol, you can just manipulate it to death. around this little guy I don't want any lines anyway let's see here okay let me finish this up better and uh, you know we'll go on to the next stage it's all i'm doing is bringing pain in and just you know bringing the butterfly out all right yeah that's what i'll be doing be right back actually i'm gonna erase to get your eraser out i'm gonna erase all the pencil marks that's what i'm gonna do okay been working and working and working I'm going to go both ways. I'm not sure what gives you the better view uh, of the butterfly. Now, this is a Sharpie. By the way, all Sharpie pens are made with alcohol. Yeah. So, and they come in all kinds of colors. And the fine point, which I've got right here. And I just simply, where it wasn't visible, and I wanted to uh, make it visible, I used this marker. And did that then I come over it with a brush and you can use it to to create shadow like right there right, see that see the shadow around it um, and over here and I you don't want to do too much outlining with the pen uh, just at the areas you need just like the antennas there they are and um, this little guy is done I'm gonna put my name on it and make it official here. Boom. So, done. I hope you've enjoyed it. I'll give you a flyover uh, before we're all gone. Thumbs up, comment. Please use the YouTube player. That would just be awesome. Because a lot of you follow me. But you got to comment on the YouTube player. To help me out oh please help me out <laughs> I need that support um, thank you again for watching and I hope you like it it's different and uh, you have a great day till the next one and I'm gonna give you a flyover <laughs> hi this is our flyover isn't it beautiful it's really stunningly beautiful it really is that butterfly just is so perfect. Love it. And you can do it. You saw how easy it is. Let me see if turning on the light is gives you a different view. I know it causes a little bit of a glare. but Alright, there we go. I think it looks better there. And we'll end it with that. Thank you for watching. And I had a great time doing this, and it was a fun creation. Um, I hope I inspire you. Uh, if you do, let me know. I'd love to see your work. Just post it on my Facebook or Instagram. Okay, have a great day now. Bye.